Entertainment Luxury. Pharrell Williams dubbed T.I. Jay-Z of the South, and considering the exceptional talents he has displayed during his developing career in the music industry, it is clear that he fully meets the requirements for such a designation. T.I., who was born Clifford Joseph Harris Jr. in Atlanta, Georgia, on September 25, 1980, has been rapping since he was just nine years old. At the age of just 19, he then secured a contract with LaFace Records, a division of Arista Records. Out of respect for fellow rapper Q-Tip, who also joined the company as a recording artist, he later changed his stage name from T.I.P., a play on his boyhood nickname Tip, to T.I. Upon its release in October 2001, I'm Serious, his debut album, Did Fine, breaking into the top 30 of the Billboard Top R&B Hip Hop chart and causing people to start paying attention. But soon after, this young rapper made the decision to stop working together with the label and start his own music label, Grand Hustle. Nine studio albums have been released by Harris, and seven of them have been in the top five on the US Billboard 200. Today we'll be taking a look at the top eight luxury buys of T.I. Number one restaurant, Atlanta's Trap City Cafe Restaurant, is opened by businessman T.I. The new restaurant promises to provide cuisine, beverages, and entertainment with live music, gaming nights, karaoke, and more. It also features drinks and food named after your favorite celebrities. Trap Pocket Tacos are priced between $5 and $6, Bankroll Fresh Turkey Burgers are $12, Rich Boys, Po Boys are $12 to $15, and Shoddy Low Lamb Chops and Grits are $24. Drinks include the Narco Colado, Futura Baby Mama, and Gucci Main Green Tea. Tells ABC 17 News, T.I. says, we wanted to celebrate the most significant contributors to the culture that we wanted to feel authentic, representing the essence of who we are as a city and what these artists mean to the city. You have streets, business, culture, community, art, and all of these things intersect right here at the Trap City Cafe. Number 2 Mansion Homes, in the city, T.I. invested $3 million in a brand new house. According to reports, the mansion was bought at the end of 2020. Although there are several pictures of the mansion, there are no specifics concerning its location. The home, which is 10,000 square feet, contains seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. A home theater, gym, sauna, massage room, spa, and wine cellar are among the inside amenities. There is a fireplace and a sizable pool outside. A guest house is also present. On the Chattahoochee River, it is located on a private, gated property. Ansley Real Estate's founder and CEO, Bono Ansley III, put the house on the market. T.I. paid $4.26 million in 2006 for a mega mansion with a three-acre property, five bedrooms, seven full bathrooms, four stories, and a private dock on Lake Spivey, according to many claims by real estate websites. A few of the substantial renovations that were carried out at the house in 2019 were displayed to viewers in the television show spin-off, T.I. and Tiny. Friends and Family Hustle. T.I. recalls, I don't know if a neighbor came out and saw us looking at it, but, some kind of way, word got back to the seller of the house, they wouldn't sell it to us, because I was a rapper, because I was young, because I'm black, or, a combination of all three, but they wouldn't sell to us. The pair practically took matters into their own hands after Tiny's, T.I. Wife, pain on her face caused him to take it personally. He clarified, we started knocking door to door. I started riding around finding houses, I'll stay there, pointing. And we found one, the one that I'm in now on the lake, it was a middle-aged Indian family. He has just built the house maybe two or three years ago. I paid him about $500,000 over what it was worth, and that was one of the dumbest things I've done. We have so many memories in the house, raised a family, children grew up, it's the house that y'all see on, Family Hustle. The couple's original show, T.I. and Tiny. Family Hustle, debuted on VH1 in 2011. What you know about that? Number 3 Car Collection, TI has a variety of distinctive vehicles, each in its own right. According to TI in a Vivo posted YouTube video, each of his cars has a particular purpose. He drives a range of vehicles, his collection of automobiles therefore requires no introduction, and the vehicle speaks for itself. Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Jeep is a reputable car maker known for creating some of the toughest off-road cars on the American market. They do, however, have a secret weapon in the form of the wild Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, which is one of the best high-performance off-roading SUVs available on the US market. 
It is expressly developed for high-speed performance while retaining the real DNA of a Jeep. The Jeep has a distinct road presence with a 6.7-liter V8 and an audible exhaust sound. The starting price of this car is $65,000. For an SUV, the Grand Cherokee 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of 4.4 seconds and top speed of 157 miles per hour are extremely impressive. Rolls-Royce Ghost, TI has a powerful Rolls-Royce Ghost in his pricey car collection. For those who want nothing less than the finest from the automaker, the Ghost is one of the top vehicles on the market. The cabin of the Ghost is extremely opulent and furnished with expensive materials. A 563 horsepower, supremely refined V12 engine powers the Rolls. The Ghost offers one of the best driving experiences thanks to its excellent handling and generous power output. About $460,000 was the price that TI paid for this car. Speaking of performance numbers, this big, heavy car has an electronically controlled top speed of 155 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds. Bentley Continental GT Convertible, the Bentley Continental GT Speed Convertible delivers a level of luxury that is comparable to that of a Rolls-Royce, but with significantly better performance. The Continental GT Speed, which houses a V12 engine, is incredibly quick and a joy to drive. It may not be as impressive to view as other supercars, but it is incredibly quick. It is the ideal tool for sumptuous continent crushing. In terms of performance, it could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds and reach a staggering high speed of 202 miles per hour. TI gets to his destinations ASAP, ASAP. Number 4 Museum, Escape Rooms, where people really pay to be imprisoned in a themed room and then look for hints and solve puzzles to find their way out, has finally made it to the United States starting in 2015. They were used as a creative starting point for family outings, business team building activities, and, for Atlanta hip-hop pioneer T.I., a date night with their significant other changed their perspective. Grand Hustle's creators, T.I., and their team, chose to do it themselves. The original idea was to locate an abandoned bungalow in the city and furnish it with couches left on the curb. Then they came to the conclusion that simply giving customers a sense of being in a trap was insufficient. They wanted people to comprehend the origins of the trap and the music it gave birth to. The Escape the Trap experience is no longer the entirety of the Trap Music Museum for this reason. It provides a more comprehensive before and after comparison, illustrating how Trap music captured the fallout from the 1980s crack epidemic in the South and ultimately influenced pop culture as a whole. It's a safe way to view the Trap, says Crystal Garner, general manager of the Trap Music Museum. According to marketing director James Miller, the Trap Music Museum was intended to be open for two months. But more than 2,500 people signed an online petition to keep the museum open before it shut its doors in November 2018 after opening the month before. The museum is an easy sell for a weekend night, it is open from noon to midnight on Saturdays and Sundays and from 4 p.m. to midnight on Fridays. Being open seven days a week, Escape the Trap, is frequently sold out. T.I. said remember, you don't know me. Number 5 Fine Jewelry T.I. created a gorgeous gold pendant chain as a homage to the late Nipsey Hussle. T.I. recently displayed one of his Nipsey-themed gold chains, on February 28, Tip posted a photo of his Nipsey Hussle necklace, onto Instagram. The chain, which features a gold pendant of Nipsey's face immediately started receiving blue hearts, in the comments below the image, honoring West Coast great Nipsey Hussle. On Sunday, July 14, 2019, T.I. made sure his wife Tamika Tiny Harris had a memorable birthday celebration. As they were having dinner at West Hollywood's Delilah Restaurant, a prominent LA hotspot, the rapper gave her a big diamond necklace. At the base of her drink, he hid the diamond necklace. She scoped it out, and fell into his arms, giving him a hearty kiss. You can have whatever you like, I would imagine T.I. responded. Number 6 Real Estate Venture in order to change the narrative for children like him, T.I. established by Back the Block, in 2017, a business that remagens his old neighborhood one building at a time. I grew up in the Center Hill neighborhood of Atlanta, off Bankhead Highway, during the 1980s and 1990s. That area of town was regarded as being in the lower middle class back then. The community stagnated after the crack era, and from 1994 to 2012 it was a very barren place to conduct business. There isn't a significant food store chain. No fresh food is available. There isn't a CVS. There are alcohol retailers. 
Now that the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and the Beltline are nearby, there is a motivation to redevelop. But I didn't want it to happen in one of those cases when expensive condos are built and locals are driven to the outside because they cannot afford to live there. I intended to create development that would make it possible for locals to afford to stay because they love the neighborhood. I bought the Bankhead Seafood Building in collaboration with other developers and, Atlanta rapper, Killer Mike. I have a collection of lots that I and another partner bought in a particular corner. I am purchasing a second, larger lot on my own. I invested more than $2 million, and entered six buildings. I don't have any kind of private equity financing. My own money and labor are what it is. Home ownership is the foundation of wealth. It affects a person's mental health in some way. Number 7 Clothing Line, Rapper T.I.'s Clothing Line, AKOO Apparel, is receiving a new urban location. The tenant, AKOO slash RP55, was represented by Michael Yadgard of Maxwell New York because AKOO is controlled by RP55 Group, a manufacturing and distribution company with locations in China and Virginia Beach. Adams and Company, S. Jeff Buslick and James Buslick acted as the building's representatives in the 12-year agreement with an asking rate of $45 per square foot. The Contemporary Fashion Center building, commonly known as its West Annex, has a brand new lobby. A King of One's Self, or AKOO, is a popular brand of modern men's trousers, hoodies, polo shirts, jackets, sweaters, and bags. The collection first appeared in 2008, and since then it has won praise for its distinctive fusion of preppy, urban, and military designs. No one on the corner have swagger like us. Number 8 Technology, Hip Hop Entrepreneur T.I. advanced the technology sector this February, on Black History Month. With business partner Jason Getter and Brandon B.L. Lewis, the son of the late, legendary boxing promoter and entrepreneur Butch Lewis. T.I. developed a new syndicated investment vehicle called Tech Cypha. Using the lens of hip-hop culture, the team also founded Culture Genesis, a Los Angeles-based entertainment firm, leveraging technologies like Airbnb, Lyft, and Lime. The plan changed when Getter and Harris invested in StreetCred.com, a website that let users express their ideas about street culture, for the first time 12 years ago. For Getter, that group is benefiting from Atlanta's expanding status as a cultural and technology hub in the country. According to data from PitchBook and the National Venture Capital Association, startups in the Atlanta region did raise over $1.15 billion in 2018, a record for the city. If it ain't about the money. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys TI. Make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to see our next list. Bye for now.